At the completion of this video, you'll be able to verify database statuses, manage desired database regions, and schedule GDL60 update parameters. The first thing we need to do is access the database information in the panel. To access that information, first select the system icon from the home page of your Garmin touchscreen navigator. Next, select system status. Doing this will allow you to verify the appropriate database screen for both the active and the standby databases. After noting which databases are in the active and standby, you can manage your desired database regions. If you'd like to change the database region that you're using, begin on the home page by selecting System, System Status, Menu, and then Database Preferences, and then simply click on the database that you wish to select a different region for. Once you've selected the desired region and then confirm the selection on the pop-up window, the information will update on the appropriate tab to reflect a change in region. While on ground, the GDL60 will periodically check for available updates and download databases as necessary. Downloads may occur while the aircraft is powered on or off, depending on the Connext Pilot setting. After turning on the panel, the system will check for available updates, and all sync-enabled displays will stay on this page while databases are uploaded. A counter will indicate the progress of the transfer status. It's recommended to stay on this page until the update process is complete and the displays have restarted. Pressing the Continue button during this process will require a restart at a later point for updated databases to become active. You'll be able to view a list of the databases currently synchronizing to the other LRUs from the Associated Information tab. To see this status, begin by clicking on the Systems icon from the home page. Next, select System Status, and then Database Sync. Status messages will inform you when the GDL60 is downloading a database. Please wait for all databases to sync before performing the required restart. It's important to ensure that the Connect status on the GTN is set to automatically download databases with the aircraft off, using the battery or aircraft power. To enable automatic database downloads, first select System from the home page. Then Connect Setup, GDL60 Setup, and finally Connect Settings. From here, press on the Automated Database Downloads button and select Battery or Aircraft Power. Enabling this function allows the GDL60 to perform automated database downloads when a new database becomes available. When the aircraft is not in use, the GDL60 will use battery power and download available updated databases and store them in the GDL60. When the avionics are turned on, the databases will synchronize across the displays. To be able to view information about when the GDL60 will wake up, click on the Systems icon, Connect Setup, and then Events. Under this tab, you'll be able to view the date and time of the next and previous wake-up events, as well as the percentage of remaining battery supply allocated for GDL60 use. It's important to keep in mind that the GDL60 needs to have LTE or Wi-Fi coverage to be able to download databases. Also, if the signal is weak, expected download times could be longer, and thus drain more power from the battery. Keep in mind that other database transfer options will still be available to use. The SD card update option, as well as database concierge, will always have higher priority. For instance, if there is an SD card in the system, then the GDL60 will not update because the SD card has priority regardless of the database age. It is therefore recommended to remove any SD cards from the system prior to attempting a database concierge or GDL60 database update. 